Hello, I'm Cameron Cheats with Queerty. Thanks for having me. Thanks for hey, being here. Thank you. Congrats on the film. I think, you know, Billy, it's really wonderful to see you as a romantic lead. And I know that's sort of a new lane for you, but Luke, you've had a lot of experience in that department. So Billy, I'm kind of wondering if you could talk to maybe what you learned from Luke in terms of being the romantic lead. Wow. Um, yeah, for me, I'm known for being a comedian, doing a certain type of thing. I have played other roles, um, mm -hmm. but, you know, the thing I've gotten the most attention for is Billy on the Street and, you know, my, my pop culture sensibility. Luke has done a bunch of Hallmark movies and a specific kind of rom-com, always playing the straight man, actually. I don't mean that comedically. I mean in terms of sexual orientation. Um, and no, he's doing his first gay rom-com. For me, you know, that's what was thrilling about it, you know? And, you know, I did get to bring more of my vulnerability and just all the complicated stuff about who we are to the screen. Yes, our priority was always to make the funniest movie possible. For both of us as actors and for our characters, it's a story about letting our guards down and revealing a lot more about who we are than first meets the eye. And I think we went through that experience together and learned a lot from each other. Yeah, yeah Luke, I mean, one, how does Billy stack up against those Hallmark co-stars? <laughs> oh, wow. You're gonna compare me to Candace Cameron, bro? I, exactly. <laughs> wow. I'm just flattered to be mentioned in the same category. Right. I mean, in honor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Billy's really, really, really funny. Um, there's also something about his sense of humor that is really about the now. It is about sort of the, the pop culture references that happened five minutes ago. And I think a lot, of the, a lot of the hallmark experience is like kind of something that maybe happened a little bit longer ago. You know, the sort of sensibilities are a little more traditional. But I'm just as pretty, you He's know, just as pretty. I, I, I love a gingerbread house competition yes. as much as any of, <laughs> yes. of those leading ladies in those movies. We, we also got to kiss more than once and then go a little bit farther than We I, did a lot more than I was going to say. In yeah. <laughs> so if you That's like me in break. Mistletoe Promise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, yeah, Rebrose is like Mistletoe Promise meets a rim job, basically. <laughs> That's the tagline we You're should welcome, be using. You're welcome, Queer right? Tea. Yeah. Next, I gave you what you wanted, all right? Exactly. <laughs> mistletoe okay. Promise is going to be really... It's Mistletoe Rim Job, and I've <laughs> seen that porn, actually, and it's wonderful. Yeah, totally. Um, yeah, but to see it on a big more. screen, It's Luke. important to see it on a big screen. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's so important exactly. to watch porn on a big this. screen. We don't get that experience anymore. No, not like we used to, no, definitely. Yeah, Exactly. <laughs> Luke, I did want to ask if there was a specific scene that you really did feel like pushed you out of your comfort zone in terms of comedy or or even the romantic side of things. Yeah, I mean, I think I was probably most nervous about the sex scenes. Not because yeah. Billy isn't incredibly sexy, he totally is. Obviously. It's just, you know, you're on set and you, you gotta look a certain way. I think I was very concerned that I look a certain way. Aaron is described about having this kind of body, so those were nerve-wracking, but they weirdly became the funnest to shoot because we really just kind of always look for the comedy yeah. in every moment of it. Once you're taking your clothes off in front of that many people, the first few minutes you're a little antsy, and then we, you just go for it. I mean, it can be very liberating, yeah. you know? And after about, you know, we shot those scenes for hours and hours, and most of them, are, are there for physical comedy purposes. I mean, sex can be really funny and awkward, yes. and I think everyone relates to that. So, I don't know, I think we just dove in and it was just kind of like being on a fun ride. I mean, that's not something you get to do every day, and I think we both committed to how insane it was to have to do it. Yeah. Thank you both so much, congrats. I mean, this movie's amazing, and now I can't wait for Mistletoe Rim Job. I've yeah. been, I know, like, coming soon to a theater, yeah. only in theaters. <laughs> only in theaters. Mistletoe Rim Job will probably be on on Peacock, but you know, still excited to watch.